But don't worry, be happy. Just be happy. It sounds so simple, but like that. So that's how society as a mass chooses to see it. Simple, <coughs> easy, common. Anytime you ask someone, hey, how are you? They always respond with something along the lines of, I'm doing great, how are you? Society actually oversimplifies happiness to such an extent that we expect it. It's wrong to not be happy. Like, imagine if someone instead responded, you know, I'm absolutely miserable. Whoa there, buddy, too much information. No, I was just being polite. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <coughs> so we walk around with a smile, even if it feels foreign on our faces. We don't dare talk about happiness as if it can be a struggle with anyone but maybe our closest friends. Maybe. But in reality, happiness is not always a given. It doesn't always come easily. There's an art to being happy. Art requires you to look at things, people, and situations in a different way. Well, so does happiness. And every time I've been faced with some sort of struggle in my life, I've come closer to learning the art of being happy. Now, I had to start learning pretty early on in my life, like when I emerged from the womb. I took my first breath and opened my eyes and within moments was faced with my parent, the dissonance in my parents' relationship. I had two houses, two very different ideas on how to raise a child, but only one parent at a time. When I was 13, my parents engaged in a custody battle that lasted throughout my seventh grade. Tensions were high. And at times, I began to realize that my parents cared more about destroying each other than, well, me. As I watched this unfold, my first and only response was, I have to fix this. If they can't, I will. I tried. And tried, and tried, and tried. Nothing changed. And I felt like I had failed. And the only way to pull myself out of this feeling of failure was to get it in my head that I'm not going to be able to control everything going on around me. But I can control my mindset. If you think about it, life and art are only as you perceive them. And so many elements of perception are pure choice. You can look at a flower pot and make countless different paintings just based off the lens you choose to see it through. You choose to hate school or your job. My best friend chooses to live in a world where one day Brad Pitt will be her husband. <laughs> I chose to be happy with my family for what it was, for what it is. Now, despite this happiness I started to craft early on, I still faced some lasting effects. Multiple personalities. Not the extreme kind, but I certainly had a different face for every different situation. There was mean girl Delaney. Yeah, so I was punching her chase up and scuff. She's practically obsessed with yelling for him, call me please, call me, and she falls down the stairs. There was pretentious Delaney. Yeah, hon, I think you meant I'm feeling well today. <laughs> Rebel Delaney. She asked me why I was late to class, and I told her I had better things to do. Dude, I have a block to run, and so on. I was never true to myself, and that was <coughs> the best part. I overthought every word, every action, because I thought I'd get the best response out of people if I was who they wanted me to be. But that was not the answer to happiness. Because in the end, yourself is the only person you even can be. When you stop trying to please people, people like you better, ironically enough. Try twice as hard and I'm half as liked, as put by Nate Roos in one of my favorite songs. Life starts when your worrying stops. So yes, being happy is about being with friends and laughing about nothing. It is about finally climbing to the top of that mountain. It's even about enjoying a third, fourth, or fifth piece of chocolate. Go ahead, I don't judge. <laughs> but there's also a much more crucial part. Being happy is about learning what you can and cannot live with and making peace with the facts that simply won't change. You decide your own conditions of happiness. If you cannot live with something, then don't. Change your location, your situation, or your perspective. You decide how you go about your own life. You create your own picture of what happiness should be, so make it beautiful. Look at life with all that it has to offer. Paint it with happiness, and soon you will have your masterpiece. Now that, that I can live with.